Welcome to the Once in a Lifetime series. In this long form video, we're gonna be crossing the great state of Washington along the very scenic Highway 20. From Newport to Bellingham, Washington, almost 400 miles of pure scenic beauty along this great Washington State Highway. All this footage was shot in the month of August. Sit back and enjoy the ride and the journey starts right now. Well, we got about 20 miles left of Idaho, what we can see of it. Just drove through all that rain. Now we got blue sky, clean roads. Really pretty here. Look how they cut through that rock. Look at that. Right through it. Make this road. Once again, this is Highway 2 West, US 2. We'll connect up here on Highway 20 once we uh, cross over the state line. Big Pine, seeing a ton of logging trucks, my goodness. Just a bunch of them. Well, looks like we've got a town coming up here. Welcome to Priest River, Idaho. Well, small town, USA, right here. Priest River, Idaho. Oh, a cute, cool uh, mural in that brickwork right there. Along the sidewalk. Well, I don't need fuel. One thing, this van, it goes good on fuel. Averaging over uh, 21 miles a gallon. Just checked on the phone. Looks like there's a dam. Albany Dam and uh, Campground up here. Right before we get into Washington State. Yeah, we're down just a few miles left here in Idaho. Should be getting close. Look how flat it is here. We're out of the mountains now. Big tall pines. There's the sign. I'd have seen the sign for the dam. Here it is. Made it. Check this out. Got some bugs on the window. Well, let's go down this way. It said visitor center. Oh, look at this. They got their boat inspection station. You gotta clean your boats before you bring them in here and use them in the lakes. It's a good practice. Ooh, let me stop. I'll ask these guys where a good place is to park and get some pictures. Where's the best place to get pictures at? Back here? Yeah, so at the end of this road, you can drive down to the right. Oh, okay. Thanks. Well, back there probably takes you down to the dam. Here's our visitor center. Hey, let's go ahead and park here a sec. We'll walk around. Then I'll go down to the bottom. This viewing area. I see a lot of trees. Wildlife viewing. There's the dam. See it? Let's see what the storyboard says. Oh, 
Albany Falls. Albany Falls. So they made a dam here at the falls. Oh, look at the railroad bridge down there. Cool. Let's drive on down. Let's uh, head down there. Can't really see much from up here. Well, at least we, we're getting to see something here out of the rainstorm. Idaho wasn't a total washout. Get it? Washout. <laughs> Well, there's our visitor center. It's early. It's closed. It's okay. This was an unplanned stop anyway. We'll head on down to the water. Check it out. Here we go. What a job these two guys have, just sitting there waiting for a boat to come in to wash. Thank you. You too. I don't know if you could hear him, he said, Arizona van, he read the plate. <laughs> well. Right at the stop sign. See how close we can get to it. Maintenance buildings there on the left. I see a parking area to the left. Wow, day use area. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at the water. It's like a mirror, the reflection. This is a photographer's dream. This brings back memories. There's that train bridge. That reflection in that water like that, that body of water is like glass photographers would oh my goodness look it's just crystal clear perfect reflection even the clouds well with all the rain everything is just clean the air smells good perfect temperature blue sky A little bench to sit on even the trees are happy with all the water, huh? <laughs> Albany Falls Dam. Well, probably a lot of people come down here and fish. Right off the rocks. I don't know if I've ever seen that big of a body of water that flattened still. Ought to throw a rock in there and let the ripples go, huh? <laughs> Little picnic table here. And there's the dam. You can even see the reflection of the dam in the water. Almost see the bottom. I got a pump or something running in there. Hear it? Ah, the sprinklers. They're pumping the water for the sprinklers. What a pretty place. Check it out. Albany Falls. or something for like a fishing boat or rubber raft.
kayak probably. That water's so uh, flat it looks like you can walk across it, doesn't it? <laughs> Call that Mother Nature's artwork. You're at Mother Nature's art gallery right here. No charge to get down in here if you're traveling around Idaho on the US 2. Stop. That upper parking lot, you could easier park a trailer or a rig up there and just walk down here. Busy road, there goes an RV. Wow, look at the glass water. Look at that. There's your picture of the day. There's your Kodak moment. We we're walking around way down there. There's Highway 2. The railroad bridge. The falls. They just created a dam out of the falls. Harvest that energy. Right down the road, there's Washington State. We'll be there uh, shortly. Looks like our blue sky is going to stick around. Clouds are thinning out. We're in good shape. Yay! <laughs> We only have about three, four miles. We're right in Washington. We're going to be looking for Highway 20. This ought to be just one epic trip. Right across this river coming up should be the state line between Idaho and Washington State. And we are leaving Idaho. We got blue sky, high clouds, and we are in Washington State. Yay! This is a little town called Newport. There's the Welcome to Washington sign. We just crossed under it. I'm going to kind of fast track it a little bit. We're actually gonna pick up, it's Washington State Highway 20. We'll kind of zigzag our way up to, we're gonna head up to Kettle Falls. That's a goal to get to today. I'm gonna spend the night up there. That's also where the Columbia River is. Right here's where we say goodbye to Highway 2. So long Highway 2. This is uh, Washington State 20. It's going to take us up through a couple little towns. And once again, get up to Kettle Falls. Actually, we're going to be on Highway 20 for almost 400 miles. It's a scenic byway through Washington State as well. I kind of found it online and I thought, why not? Let's do it. Tall pines and blue sky, no rain, yay, like we had in Idaho. <laughs> Still turned out good, that uh, Albany Dam, that was neat. That was a neat little stop, very picturesque. All right, I'm going to fast track this a little bit. I'll kick the cameras on when I see something good. Enjoy the ride. Well, 
well so far. It's just been kind of flat. A lot of pines lining the road. I want to stop up here and uh, check the maps. I think I can cut over to a little town and get over on 395 up to Colville. Yes, there's a little county road we're going to cut over. It's about 18 miles. We're going to go straight west and that'll take us over to US uh, 395. Then we'll cut up that way to Colville and then we'll pick back up on that State Route 20, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I had to look at it twice on the maps. This is definitely back road farm country. I'm going to keep the cameras on. Just enjoy the ride. What a pretty place to live here, huh? Oh no, well we got detours coming up. Well, my shortcuts turn into uh really back roads <laughs> oh what the heck we got all day and we got a full tank of fuel it's absolutely beautiful back in here pretty dry but it's August sign back there said Colville uh, National Forest and we're actually going to be climbing over a mountain pass. This is going to be such a good trip across uh, Washington. Get up here to Kettle Falls for the night. We got a lot of miles to do yet. made it. There's a little town, Chuala, something like that. Washington. I'm not real familiar with it. Definitely small town USA. Wow, look at the copper dome. Look at that. Look at that copper on that thing. Someone just cleaned that. <laughs> or it's brand new. Got flower baskets hanging. Pretty, pretty place. 15 miles an hour through here. Definitely small town USA. Flags are flying. In Green Atlanta trees. City, turn right onto US 395 North, North Ace Park Hardware Street. right there. Old brick building. How cool is this, huh? All the little shops. Turn right on the US 395 North. All right, North right up here is 395. We're going to take this. We're going to head straight on up to Colville. Okay, this is US 395. We're heading north. Look at the cloud formations up there. Pretty big mural on that building there. Neat little town. Motels. 
Oh, check it out. Zips Burger. Go get you a Zip Burger. <laughs> Never heard of Zips. Big old park here. Pretty busy road. Another logging truck. All kinds of logging up here. All right, we got about 35 miles to get up to uh, Colville. Looks like we're getting close to town. few clouds hanging in. I did hit some sprinkles a couple miles back. Wasn't much. Hey, another Zips. <laughs> Must be like a regional restaurant chain. Should have stopped and got me a Zip burger. Oh no, Yuck Donald's. Yay. <laughs> We're just going to keep right on this uh, going here. Pretty soon we're going to pick up uh, 20, or I think it combines maybe with 395. No matter what, we're going to end up in Kettle Falls. And then out of Kettle Falls tomorrow when we leave there, because I'm going to spend the night there at an RV park. Yes, yeah, 395. I think somewhere up here 20 will kick back in. Yep, right there. Okay. They combine. Then we're going to take uh, State Route 20 clear across the rest of Washington. We'll stay on that route the whole way across. Kind of looking forward to that. There's a couple neat sections of road we're going to cross when we go across Washington. And that's coming up this week. Les Schwab's tires. This is a pretty good sized town. We've been going through town for a little bit here. Motels. Once again, this is Colville, Washington. And in case you're wondering, my shortcut wasn't very short. <laughs> I should have just stayed on Highway 20. So don't do what I did. Still okay. It was a pretty ride. There's postman delivering mail. Angle parking on the streets, you don't see that in big towns. FM station. They got a little bit of everything here. Way up north, we're not that far from the Canadian border either. We're kind of hugging the high line of Washington State here. We're getting near the end of it. We're really close to Kettle Falls. We only got a few miles. Should be there shortly. Starting to get back in some pines here. We should be getting close, according to the maps here. Another logging truck. This, that's a massive business up here. 
here you go welcome to Kettle Falls we made it yay I kind of scoped this on the maps let's drive through town we'll go film uh, the Columbia River Columbia River actually starts up here comes out of Canada runs all the way down through Washington to clear down through to the ocean We'll film that and then I'll come back and find that RV park. I need to fuel up here too sometime. I got all day. want to go straight right there there's the RV park I'm gonna stay at it's a motel RV park we'll come back to it let's go down to the water and film that first State. Okay, we'll check that too. There's a park up here. Should be getting close to the river. Man, that's pretty up here. Just pretty. There's that campground off the left. We'll check that. Let's go across the bridge. Look at this. Get ready. Here we go. beans just crossed the Columbia River. How about that, huh? Ooh, gas station. I better stop get some diesel before we go back. Make a quick pit stop here. All fueled up. Now tomorrow we make a right right there in that road and stay on 20 that way. We're going to go back into Kettle Falls. Here we go. What's this sign say? Lake Roosevelt and Kettle Falls Campground. Okay, there's, there's part of a lake here too. Cool. Gotta love these bridges. There's an old timer here. It's seen its day. I think that turn off was right up here. Like right here. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the campground. right up here. Yep. Pretty place. There's a boater camping paradise. Well, looks like a Big time marina. I see a bunch of big houseboats. We'll get out and walk around. I need to stretch my legs. I'm sure the fishing is perfect here. Beautiful northwest. Alright, I'll park right here like a boater. <laughs> Uh, 
I've been to the Columbia a few times, way down like a long, long view and way down on along the Oregon Washington border. Long ways from here. This is where all the water comes from. Look at that dock that's floating there. Guess you gotta swim in. <laughs> Pretty. Kind of breezy. Those are some good size houseboats. So this is the Columbia River and Roosevelt Lake, huh? Have to look at it a little closer on the maps. Wonder if the Columbia River freezes over in the winter. Huh. Alright, to the van we go. There's a nice boat. That's one you can't hurt. You can go out and really uh, take on some rough water in that thing. There's the houseboats. This is cool. They got a pretty good sized marina, campground, about everything in here. Lake with a river. Man, I bet that fishing is good. Looks like more campground down that way. Probably dry camping, boondocking. Right here in Kettle Falls, Washington. Once again, we're not that far from Canada here. Pretty place. There's your Kodak moment right there. Well, I'm really glad I came up this direction. I have never been up this far, ever. You don't talk to too many people that come up this direction either. Should be an interesting trip across the High Line. Huge wood mill. Massive piles of logs. That one sign said plywood, so they must make plywood here. My goodness, it's big. What a magnificent place. Look at those bridges. Just had to take another look here. <laughs> Boat going up through the water. Those bridges have seen some traffic in their day, huh? That's the side we're going down, Cross River. In the morning, we're heading that direction. place is called the Grandview Inn. It's a motel plus a RV park. Had really good reviews. Let me go in. I'll get checked in. See what spot they want me to take. It's 
Space 24, very nice lady. Her and her husband own this. They're pretty much open year round. They get a lot of forestry people that stay here. A lot of shade. Should be good enough. I'm only here one night. All right, this is home for the night. Tomorrow we hit the road. We're leaving Kettle Falls. Cute low RV park, this Grand View Inn. It was okay. But we're gonna have a hopefully a eventful little drive today. We're gonna cut across the Columbia River, get this show going. Decent weather. Okay, here we go. Back across the bridge. Yay. So long, Kettle Falls. I love these old bridges. All right, right up here, we're gonna make a left, and this is still uh, Washington State Highway 20, State Highway. And we're gonna stay on this for a long time now. We're not gonna get off till basically the coast. This road is also called uh, Sherman Pass Scenic Byway. We're going to cross over a big mountain pass and all that, so it should be a cool little trip. What a pretty cool place to come up to along this high line up here, Washington State, along this historic state highway, Washington State Highway 20. Look at that. They had fire here in the years past. All the forestry that goes on. Even at that RV park, she said they're just full of uh, guys working for all the lumber companies. but absolutely Shangri-La here. I highly recommend it. You get a chance, get up here to Kettle Falls, Washington. Last night I uh, Googled all this and read a few articles about it. There's a couple pretty good points of interest up through here. Bit chilly this morning, but it's supposed to be up in the 70s. Should be a good day. Well, let's leave the camera go. Enjoy the views. Oh, what's the sign say? Yes, this is the first one coming up here. Should be, whoops, missed the road. It's right there on the left. It's a CCC camp uh, memorial from the old days. Let's go ahead and check it out. Yep, I see a few storyboards. We'll see what 
this thing is. Okay. Oh, boots. Look at this. Step into these shoes. CCC. Look at that. Now that's cool. They built our national park system. Statue of a guy working, huh? Building a wall. Storyboards. Those are hard to read. Camp Groden. Okay. A letter home. Look, someone wrote a letter home. I'll be darn. Oh, look at the picture. Original picture. Look at that. Well, let's wander around. It's kind of like a picnic area. They got restrooms. Here's their sign Little America. <laughs> I can hear water running back here too. Wonder how much of this is original. I bet these benches are for sure. Concrete benches. Something was here, probably a building. Oop, my shadow. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, talks about the trees and the water. Oh, uh, flowers. Look at that. Hear the water. That's the same view they had years ago when this was actual camp for the CCC. I'm sure most of the buildings are gone. Go check this thing out, little log cabin. I can hear heavy equipment in the woods. So they're logging in here somewhere. These are hard to read, sorry. Just another map of the area, it looks like. Definitely check this out online. I'd say that's original. Look how little the rooms are. Bet it was cold up here too in the winter. Everything made out of wood, but they got a forest to build it. What a cool little stop here in the Sherman Pass Road. Uh, if you ever get up this way, check it out. That's neat with them boots like that, isn't it? And the statue. I'll get a picture of the sign out here in the road. They're kind of hard to read. All right.
right, if you look for this, look up Groden Heritage Site. Alrighty. Some of the old uh, features from way back. Probably a fountain of some kind, huh? Always amazes me uh, the original architecture and structures that are still left in a lot of these places. Perfect. We can see how this is just nestled right in the forest along the road and that creek. Just a sea of trees as far as you can see. I bet fire danger is always up here. You know, back at that RV park in Kettle Falls, a lady was talking about they do a lot of replanting, reforesting. They take it out, but they also put it back, which is pretty darn cool. Takes a lot of years to grow all these trees. Too cool for school. Thank you, CCC. We're still enjoying it all these years later. My goodness, what an effort. All right, on to the next one. Let's see what else we get. I'll keep the camera on. Enjoy. Here's a sign. You see a few there trail all kinds of trails. Shows for horses, snowmobiles, bikes, hiking. I bet snowmobile would be all over the place up here, huh? <laughs> We're definitely climbing. We're getting up in the world here. Oh, look at the mountain top. Yeah, we're definitely getting up here. What a pretty drive. Wow, we're almost there. Oh, cool. Overlook. Campground. Let's stop. Definitely have to check this out. I see an RV. Probably their camp host, maybe. Yep, there's a campground. Overlook. Let's go check it out. Got restrooms, information board. I'm the only one here. <laughs> and wow, paved pathways. Okay. Let's take a walk. There's a path. Let's see what it says up here. More picnic tables. And what we got? Here's a map of the area. Campground. Little trails for the overlook. Is ten minute walk, let's take it. It's quiet up here, pretty. It 
Let's see what these guys say here. Old pictures when they built it, built the area. Logging. Right there's a road. Fires, past and present, I bet. Oh my goodness. I bet they've had a few. Well, they say lightning strikes. They get those dry thunderstorms. There's a little pavilion there. We'll walk over to that. This is a nice little area here. gotten here ooh bobcat a view from above there you go all right here's your view from above that's it there's your overlook what a nice little stop heck camp up here bring your rig Camp out for a night or two. Alright, well, let's head on back to the beast. Yeah, I wasn't expecting all this. Pretty colorful for being way up here in the top of a mountain pass. Here's another one. Turbulent landscape. Little trees there. I bet they replanted here at one time. A lot of dead stuff on the ground, boy. Yeah, it would be a firebox. If anything ever happened here. But you can't stop it. Mother Nature. Man, look how tall them things are. <laughs> Isn't that neat? And there's the van. Just one big loop. They're right, about 10 minute walk. It's worth it. Perfect little stop. Matter of fact, it made me something to eat before we got back on the road here. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to keep on trucking. We're almost up to the top of this mountain here. Okay, that's sign Kettle Creek Trailhead. They show the pictures of like horses and snowmobiles and hiking, mountain bikes. I don't think I could handle all that. Maybe a snowmobile with a heater. <laughs> Ooh, what we got here? This is it. This is the pass. it say well kind of like that other board it's downhill from here <laughs> cool Sherman scenic byway 
Nice. Them big rocks there that fell down. This is it, top of the world here. Look how they cut right through that rock, make the pass going over. Let's see what the elevation says. Sherman Pass, elevation, 55.75. Better get snow here. Oh, check it out. Look, see the metal? They're like wolves. They're all over. One there, over there. <laughs> Pretty cool stop. Someone's put a lot of effort into this place here. Figurines there. <laughs> oh, look at the one way up there. I didn't even see that one. Well, that's neat. Okay, we are climbing. That's part of their trailhead there, I bet. See the paths? They got power lines running up through there. That's looking down the other side. Look how the road cuts through. Look at the line through the trees. It's how thick that forest is. <laughs> That's amazing. Top of the world there. And looking back down, what a neat ride today. This has just been great. Glad I came up through here. There's part of the trailhead too. Well, here we go. Like the sign said, it's downhill from here. Well, hopefully there's something cool going down the other side here. Has to be. Here's an overlook right here. Let's stop. Check it out. We're heading downhill. The sign back there said downhill all the way. <laughs> They got a lot of these cool little pole outs along this scenic byway here. This looks like another one. We're cutting across the high line of Washington State. Trying to stay cool in the cooler weather. Look at that view there. Alright, get parked. Check her out. As usual, I'm the only one here. <laughs> I could really hear some uh, chainsaws going. There must be logging close by. What's this say? A little map of the area. This landscape changing. About the wildlife. What a pretty view, huh? There's a look, just a sea of pines. Isn't that something? There's the road, Highway 20. What a scenic low ride so far. Been beautiful.
well, nice little stop here. Could easily have uh, stop and get a lunch. They're big enough you could pull a rig down in here. Actually, the, coming up that pass is not a bad RV road. You did climb the pass, but it was kind of long and windy, so it, it wasn't bad at all. You'd easily bring, bring a big rig up through here, fifth wheel, motorhome. All right, I'll leave the camera run. Enjoy the views. We're heading downhill. Pretty soon the fall colors will come into play. I don't know about here, but I know back east you'll definitely get them. All the leaves changing with the end of the summer. Fall season begins. Definitely a pretty ride here. Oh, there's the van. There's the loggers right there. That's what I could hear back at that overlook. There's our logging crews. Look at all that gravel that they spread in the winter there. It's a year-round project, probably keeping up with that. Stockpiling it. We're getting down close to the bottom of this uh, pass, I'd say. Yeah, we're getting down near the bottom. What a pretty ride, though. Okay, what's this say? Curtis Lake State Park, Republic. Straight ahead. We're staying on 20 here. Humans. We haven't seen any in a while. <laughs> Looks like a gas station. That road will take you straight into Canada, up to BC. We're not that far from Canada. We're right in there. Alright, there's a little town of Republic here. Logging, I bet. Pretty good size uh, lumber yard there. What's this sign? Republic 3? Oh, we're not in the Republic yet. Okay. There's a little bit of town, it looks like. A few businesses, boats, store. Small town USA right here, just spread out. How'd you like to live here? Look at the views they got. Perfect weather. Definitely everyone knows everyone else here. <laughs> Crosswalk. What else we got? Pretty big parking area off to the right. Another highway. And I see a gas station. Uh, I'm going to stop. Uh, grab a quick cup of coffee. Onward we go. We're just kind of cutting through, getting over to the Cascades. We got We'll end up over on uh, 
What's that highway over there? Pretty sure it's 97. Then we cut south and then we pick up on 20 and head straight into the Cascades. Still a little more town left here. Another gas station. Oh wow, there's a lot of town left. Look at this. <laughs> Here we go. We were just out in the suburbs. <laughs> Got a cute little town here. Look at this. Small town USA. Look at the old buildings. Look at the porch on the second story up there. Isn't that neat? A couple of them. Well, this is just picture perfect. Tractor on top of that roof. I'll be darned. Republic Washington. Okay, we need to, yep, we got to stay on 20. We got to make a left here. Well, there's the rest of downtown. Well, here we go. Looks like we're getting out of the mountains. Don't see the big mountains anymore. Got a little park there on the left. But they had mining going on, probably still do. All right, away we go. All right, what we got here? Aha! I see a place to pull off. I need a break anyway. What's the sign say? Bonaparte Recreation Area. But look at this, I got a big pull off right here in the road. This will work. Break time. Been doing a lot of driving today. Very peaceful, you know, it's long stretches in between uh, towns here. Always keep your gas tank full. Definitely do some camping, probably fishing. I'm sure they got lakes back in here. At a lower elevation, you can see the mount. The big mountains are gone, but this rolling. There's the road. We only got another 20 miles to get up to that Highway 97. We're getting close. This the land of pines, a sea of pines. Pretty. Very good road. This has been uh, well kept. Looks like a bunch of new pavement through here too. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvrtv.tv. There you can sign up for my free newsletter. We put it out on the 5th of every month. Also, we have free downloads, screensavers, sunset pictures. They're beautiful, all free. And we carry quite a bit of merch for RVR TV. Helps support these kind of travels. Once again, it's RVRTV.tv. Wow, we're getting a little different uh, scenery here. Rock cliffs right along the road. 
not too much farther I'm going to pull off for the night find a campsite, RV park, something I see houses according to the phone we are getting close we're slowing down to 25 Welcome to Tonaset, Washington. We should pick up uh, that Highway 97, actually 20 and 97. We're going to drop south. And from here, I'm probably going to take a break, figure out a place to stay, and then tomorrow we head into the Cascades. Yay! All right, we're dropping south. I'm going to pull off for the night. Tomorrow's a new journey. We are just leaving Highway 97, and we are heading west on uh, Washington State 20. Alright, we need to make a left here. We're heading to the Cascade Mountains, the North Cascade Mountains. The beautiful northern part of Washington State. This should be one epic drive. There'll be forest and mountains and lakes and who knows what else. Should be a good one. It's early morning, we've got a little cloud cover up here. Uh, I'm going to let the camera roll, enjoy the views. We've got a few miles to do before we get close to the mountains. All kinds of farmland and orchards out through here. Just a beautiful ride. Look how barren it is here. I bet they had fire through here. You can kind of see the burnt marks on the bottom of the trees. We're dropping down fast. Well, there's a beautiful view there, a little mountain. We're going to stay to the right on 20. What's the sign say? Twisp? That's a cool name for a town. USA right here. Big old trees. See a few little businesses, gas stations, stores. Really rustic. This whole this whole drive has been just a rustic look old western style buildings see some mountains here's a river this is a busy road going up into the big mountains up here in northern Cascades there's not hardly anything that cuts through here 20 does 
you can really feel the difference though between eastern Washington, now we're in the central part, heading to the western part of Washington State. The mountains, e even the temperature, air temperature, it's getting cooler. So it's definitely different. Late summer and August here too. Still got some green grass though. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this uh, drive over the mountains. The pictures I've seen online are just breathtaking, so hopefully we can catch a few. Big old nap of parts. Coffee shack, that's not open. Well, it looks like we're about through town here. We're going to go through another town up the road, too. Win Winthrop or something like that. I got the maps loaded on the phone here. Just a hometown feel. You know, I get out early, try to miss some of the traffic. And usually works. A little road construction here. But definitely in the summertime, you don't want to be down south in the heat. This is definitely a place to come up to. And along the Washington coast, western Washington. We're slowing down to 35. This is Winthrop, Washington. Big old KOA there. Look at that thing. Yeah, he's okay, but boy, their prices are way up there. Let's see what we get here. You can see the mountains coming in. See them way off in the distance. We're getting closer. Yay! Green grass. I know I always say green grass, but being from Arizona, <laughs> you don't see it. Only pictures of it. Looks like most of the businesses are on the right hand side. Gas station, busy. Wow, what a pretty little town. This thing is picturesque. Bridge. Sign back there said recreation area. Stay on 20 here. Oh, well, you can make a movie in this town. My goodness. It is just scenic. Look at these buildings. There's a lodge, motel. Park right on the street. Look at this. This is Old Town here. Wow. <laughs> oh, cool. My goodness. All kinds of cool little shops, emporium. You could spend a day or two just wandering around this town. Looks like we're at about the end of it. And ahead I see mountains in our future. Yay! <laughs> Big park there on the left. that they even got goodbye signs till we meet again <laughs> that's class all right I don't know about you guys I'm ready to go see some mountains
pretty big clouds. I hit a few sprinkles here and there. But then the sun pops right out. Wow, look at the dark clouds over the mountain. See a photographer's dream. Well, I need to take a quick break, stop a second, stretch my legs. Been driving quite a bit. A lot of miles across here. When it's all said and done, we have traveled about 400 miles on uh, Washington State Highway 20. Now there's a look. Tree covered mountains, dark clouds, sunshine, blue sky. <laughs> Typical day here, probably in the northern Cascades, huh? Absolutely gorgeous. We're in for a treat going to this pass here. Losing uh, cell coverage here. My Google Maps isn't working. <laughs> here we go. We're on our own. But there's only one road getting in here, so we're on it. <laughs> Just teasing. Let's see what we can uh, find up this way. definitely climbing going up in the world quite a few trees there's a pull out try and keep the windshield clear I don't think the dash cams picking it up there's a really big rock face right there Look at that mountain. We gotta stop and get pictures of that thing. Here's a pull up. Let's stop a sec. Yeah, the trees are hiding it. We have to look at this from the air. Look at that, even got a little color left in the bushes, flowers. There goes the fifth wheel heading up. Let me switch uh, cameras. A lot of traffic picking up on this road. It is getting super busy, but look at the rock face on that side of that mountain. No vegetation there, huh? Totally different. You know, once we get over the pass, it could be blue sky and warm. Who knows? But it's cooling off. You can really feel a temperature drop in the air here. Well, fun little stop. Feels good to take a break. A lot of miles so far. Think I'll make me something to eat, then we'll continue on down the road. Away we go, and look at that, a tiny little patch of blue sky. Perfect. You know, we're really close, uh, within 100 miles of the ocean. 
So some of this is probably coming straight in, right off the ocean. We are seriously climbing now. It's a pretty good grade. There's some blue sky and look at these mountain peaks. You can even see tiny patches of snow. I'll find a place to pull off. There's got to be pull offs up here. But isn't that gorgeous? articles and reviews and everything I was reading online about this Highway 20. They weren't kidding. They were right. It is just drop-dead gorgeous here. Cool. Here's a pull-off. That's a pretty good drop-off off this edge, too. We'll get our Kodak moment of the day. <laughs> How's that? Look how fast the clouds are moving over top of the mountains. Look at those way up there. It's chilly too. It's in the 50s. I had to put my jacket on. those clouds coming over top right there. All right, well, let's keep on going up. Well, on a scale to one to 10, I give that view a 10. <laughs> Traffic lightened up. Up we go. We are still climbing. Wonder how many thousands of feet we are up top here. There's some parks and campgrounds up here. I'll probably pull off for the night. And we'll finish this trip tomorrow. Oh wow, look at that. You can still see the snow cap. Wow. <laughs> we gotta stop again. I gotta get a picture of that. That'd make a perfect photograph right there. My goodness. stop right here. I got to get a photo of that. Don't look over the edge. There is your Kodak moment. Look at that. That's a post pitch postcard picture. Getting talk. Still got a little snow up here. Clouds rolling over. My goodness, this is beautiful. So glad I chose to come here. Wow. Welcome to the Cascade Mountains. Goodness.
case you're wondering, that is way down there. Look all the rock they pushed off making the road. One last look here. My goodness, take it in. I'm keeping the cameras on. <laughs> I mean, how could you ever get tired of that view? My goodness. Incredible. Life's little pleasures when you come out and find them like this. Because think back where we started, like way back at Newport and all the flatter, desert -y type terrain and we went through a few mountains Columbia River now we're up in these big beautiful mountains Cascade Mountains my goodness talk about history there's some here And when we get up top, there'll be a cool place to stop, get some pictures. What a journey. We're heading towards the coast, west coast, over uh, near Anacortes, Washington, in the islands. And that's still part of Highway 20. We're going to stay on Highway 20 for quite a ways. the camera on enjoy the views Wow <laughs> that's it this wow <laughs> oh yeah look at this we can pull off here just like that guy. It is way down that pass. Isn't this just spectacular? Right here's our view. Oh, look at that little waterfall coming out of the hill. the hill. Mountain Springs. Right as snow melt. <laughs> right down the hill. Alright. First little waterfall going over the Cascades. Now check this out. Look at this view. Right here. Goodness. Is that a long ways down or what? There's the pass we just drove up through. I'd say we're getting close to the top. The air temp here is, we'll just put it chilly. <laughs> Look at that rock. That came down from right up there. All right, I'd say it's time to move on. <laughs> Let's rock, literally. <laughs> well, we'll 
see what's around the next curve. I've never been up here, so I don't know. This is definitely one to come back to, though. This is where you want to get some local knowledge. I'm sure there are campgrounds and all kinds of good places to stop and see. But we're floating in the clouds up here. See a sign. What's it say? Washington Pass. Yay, we made it. That's the top. Almost 5,500 feet. What have we got here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Overlook. I'm in. Let's go check it out. Washington Pass is the name of this. Okay. Did not know that. 5,500 feet. That's still up there. Imagine all the snow they get. Probably pretty in the winter too though. Back in here a little ways. One way, I see parking off to the left. There's the trail, overlook trail, that's what we want. We got restrooms, a little picnic area. I don't know, they got RV parking down below. I'll go try one of those. Let's go for a little hike. Maybe we'll see something cool. Very well kept. Look at that tree. Oh, look at the mountain. Yay. I think that trail is over this way. There's a little restroom. Overlook. That away. So we're going that away. It's all asphalted. That's good. Look at how green it is here. Nice little fence here, keep you from falling off. Hopefully there ain't no bears up here. <laughs> Trees just laying over right alongside the path. Imagine the winds. I bet they scream up through here. Today's perfect. Oh wow, look at this. I see an overlook. Get ready. <laughs> Here we go. What's the sign say? Don't jump. <laughs> Teasing. A valley like this. That is way down there. Look at this. Enjoy the view.
Look how the trees just grow right out of the rock. See what the storyboard says. Captured Valley sculptures. Oh, when it was a glacier, huh? Okay. Very peaceful up here. Well, the path keeps going. So will we. Just as scenic as you could make this, my goodness. I know the camera doesn't do it justice. To see this in person is just breathtaking. Just peaceful. All right, up we go. See what's up here. End of the line. Kind of hard climbing. Top of the world. You can actually climb farther, but I'm not. <laughs> it's called rock climbing. Nope. Time to go back. Well, if you get up this way, check out this Washington Pass overlook. My goodness. You will not regret it. Bring a camera. There's some folks, first people I've seen in uh, quite a while. Last look at it. I'd definitely come back here. Markers dedicating people that donated to this. What a nice job, I mean, to asphalt this, but clear they had to pack that in here. Put up this metal fence, keep it clear. Let's see what they say. North Cascades Highway History. Wow, 1893. <laughs> and then 1972. Wow, what a difference. Look it up online. I'm sure there is a ton of history on this area. The clouds keep rolling in and out. One minute blue sky, next it's all cloudy, even with a sprinkle. And blue sky again.
No one's here. Look at this. I mean, it's empty. Absolutely empty. Those folks in that van, they're just taking their time. Washington Pass Outlook. Definitely stop here if you ever get a chance. I'll leave the camera on. Enjoy the views. sprinkles. Look how the clouds are hanging right in the front of that mountain there. We are definitely starting to drop in grade. We're going way down quick. The trees are getting taller too. Just a pretty, pretty drive. Look way off. This is how narrow this, steep the mountains are and how narrow this pass is. Look way, way off. Isn't that neat? And finally, blue sky, getting our blue sky and sunshine back. Perfect. Couldn't ask for a better day to be up here. Well, here we go. Man, that guy's unloading his trailer right there to camp. <laughs> I moved the camera to the outside. I mounted it up front. I'm tired of fighting the windshield all the time. All right, here we go. So if you hear a little wind noise, that's it. motorcycle is moving right along. We're still dropping down. We don't have that much farther to go to that uh, Ross Lake. Well, I'm just going to leave the camera go and enjoy the view. dropping down quick. Oh wow, waterfall. We got stopped. Look at that. Coming right out of the side of the hill there. Check this out. There you go. Free car wash. On Highway 20. <laughs> Wow. Just keeps running. All right, well, let's get back on the road. Once again, what a epic trip.
through the Cascade Mountains. Let's see here, according to the phone, there's an overlook here. Yep, that one looks pretty full. This overlooks that Ross Lake and Diablo Lake, the dam, all kinds of cool stuff. We'll go down farther. What a view around every corner. Look at this. There's the lake. I see it off to the right, way down there. I'm sure we'll find a place to pull off. Check it out. What we got here? Overlook. Hey, <laughs> we're in. Here it is, Diablo Lake Overlook. Oh yeah, I see all kinds of parking. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Still not that many people up here. All right, let's go check it out. Couldn't ask for a nicer day. You know, it clouds up, a few sprinkles, blue sky comes along. <laughs> wow, look at the color. Whoa. It's like a turquoise, huh? against that green. Look at that. <laughs> There's the dam way out there. Wonder if we can get see that. We'll check that out down the road. But look at the color difference. My goodness. Crystal blue water. What's up here? There's quite a ways down there. Oh, look, a dock. So there's got to be a campground down there. There's power lines running through, probably from the dam. My goodness. What a view. Let's head on down the road, try to get closer to the dam, see if we can get closer to the water. Away we go. This is uh, Highway 20, State Route, Washington uh, State Route 20. We've been traveling on Highway 20 for quite a ways. Yeah, we're getting closer to the water. And we're going to keep on going, clear over to the coast. Actually, it goes farther. It goes into the islands and then drops south. We're going to take it the entire way.
yeah, we're getting down here. Look at the color of that water. That is just fascinating. Maybe it's the greenery of the trees that makes it stand out more too, but that is just crystal blue. Bet it's cold too. <laughs> Real cold. Snow melt. Snow melt water. Looks like we got a bridge coming up. When you look at all this on the maps, that Ross Lake has a dam, then up here's a Diablo Dam. <laughs> Something like that. Hope I got it right. Oh, uh, tree limb fell. Look at that. These people are picking it up. Dead limb fell out of that tree. That would have hurt a windshield, huh? Well, them nice people cleared it. Away we go. Let this guy go first. I can see the dam, but not a good view with all these trees. We'll try to get up here somewhere and get a good picture of it. Really steep cliffs here. I don't know if you can tell, I think the camera's not picking it up. The water's right off to the right, straight down. <laughs> I see a sign coming up. What's it say? Learning Center Parking. Cool. Let's see what we can get down here. Man, straight through the rocks here. Here's the road. This ought to be fun. What do we have here? Got a gate. The gate's open. <laughs> We're in. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. Looks like it's going to wind down. Well, hey, if we can park, that'd be cool. At least get some pictures or something. Wow, there's the dam. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look how narrow that road is. Oh boy. We can drive across. Wow, check this out. That van's going. I'm going to follow him. 10 miles an hour. So this must be Diablo Dam. Then there's another one up there called Ross Dam, I think. How's this for a front row picture taking place? <laughs> no clue. I'm just glad another car ain't coming. I bet this is an old time dam too. Wow. That is way down there. Absolutely beautiful. 
Well, they don't let you stop anywhere. Got to keep going. All right. Well, let's see. Parking Learning Center. Let's go back. Maybe we can check out, get closer to the lake. I'd like to work back here. There's a little picnic area down there. Really not much of a place to park. Well, I'll go to the end, just turn around, I guess. That water is blue as it can be, right next to the road here. at all these cars. They got some kind of a resort or something here. I don't know. That sign when we turned in said Ross Lake Parking. I think there might be a ferry or some way to get over to Ross Lake too. They got some of this parking in here blocked off. No parking. Must need a permit or something, maybe. Oh well, we'll just turn around. <laughs> just driving across the dam was pretty cool. See, all this is coned off, too. Got the boat docks. I bet this is what we've seen from way up top, these docks. What great access, my goodness. There's that van that was in front of us. Well, this looks like good as any getting turned around. Pull over here by the water. Check it out a minute. Instead of Ross Lake, Diablo Lake, whatever, they should have called it Blue Lake. <laughs> Crystal Lake, how about that? Crystal Lake. That's a marina over there. So that's why all them cars. I've even seen a Border Patrol car over there. We're really close to Canada. Well, there you go. Bird's eye view of it. Okay, well. Let's go back across that dam. What a perfect day. It, this wind is really howling down here. But perfect day on this little lake. Now the trick is getting out of here. <laughs> Well, that must be their visitor center, marina, all kinds of stuff here for all the lakes. Maybe need a permit or something to park. Who knows? Another time. I'm just happy we got to drive across that dam. See this. Incredible. Still worth coming down here. Probably fishermen. Look at there's a family. Once again, you need the local knowledge of some of this stuff. There's some people walking. Bet they walked all the way down to the dam. That's a long walk. 
got power poles to run into here, so there's power. Amazing place. Okay, we get to go across this thing again. <laughs> Man, it's ah, just pretty. Can't even describe it. Even got restrooms right here. Bet they got no parking all over here. Oh well, let's just go. Look at that guy enjoying the view. Here we go. Wow, what a view. Better view on the driver's side here now. Well, now you can say you crossed Diablo Dam twice along beautiful Washington State Historic Scenic Highway 20. What a trip. If you get a chance, drive it. I mean, it's a lot of miles, but you see a lot of different things across here. All right, speaking of 20, we'll go up and find the main road. Missed that truck. That was good timing. <laughs> and we made it. Look at this. We're at the gate. This has probably been one of the best stops I've ever made in all my travels. Was this dam and that crystal blue clear water. That is something to remember. I'll remember that forever. Okay, let's keep trucking and see what else we can find. dropped down quite a ways. And here's the river. It's not as blue as that lake though, huh? Bet this freezes over. I bet you could ice fish here. If you could even find a place to pull off. There's a little road right there. Look how steep the mountains are. Go way up there. Tunnel! I see a tunnel. I think that's our first tunnel on this road. Had to honk the horn. You know, for a big van, this sure has a weak sounding horn. <laughs> one of these years, I'll get a big one of them air horns and stick on this thing. Sound like a freight train coming down through here. <laughs> Ooh, we got something coming up. Sign said George Creek Overlook. So we'll have to see what it is. Trailer there. Here's some parking. This will work. I see a bridge. 
Oh, look at the water coming out of the mountain. All right, we're in. Little waterfall, look at it just pouring out of the mountain there. How cool is that? Well, looks like it walk across this bridge over here. Boy, the winds are really picking up. Hang on to your hat time. Wow, look at this bridge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, look, you can see all the way down through the grating. That's a couple hundred feet, at least, down to them rocks. Look at that. <laughs> oh, another waterfall. I hear it. Wow, isn't this too cool? said George Creek. That must be George Creek or Lake. I don't know. This bridge is something else, I'll tell you. <laughs> like walking on air. A lot of traffic really picking up. Busy highway. Well, there's trails back there. I'm not up to hiking that far. But I want to go check out this waterfall. Let's go back across the other side. Pretty good sized waterfall over here. Looks like they had fire through here at some point. If you have fear of heights, you never want to walk across this thing. <laughs> Just don't look down. There's that waterfall. Could listen to that all day and all night, uh, relaxing, water running. Pretty low place here. It's a lot warmer down here than it was uh, back up that mountain an hour or two ago. George Creek. Okay, so that's George Creek. So George Creek must dump into Ross Lake. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Who knows. Sneak across the road. Boy, that one over there is really running. Want to sneak over there and uh, get a quick picture of it? No cars are coming. Here we go. Okay, there's your Zen moment on RV or TV.
at the end of this video go to rvertv.tv sign up for my free newsletter you'll find out all the latest and greatest on upcoming travel adventures rvertv.tv well we've seen a lot my goodness coming up over Washington Pass the overlooks couple waterfalls this one here and the one up the mountain then that lake Ross Lake oh, that, that color I'll never forget that drive across that dam and then this bridge just don't look down because <laughs> you can see straight through it I'm teasing it's a what a cool adventure taking selfies on that rock that was cool just don't step back <laughs> oh, goodness well here you go here's a big old tunnel Wow, look at this thing, huh? I am definitely going to do something about this horn. <laughs> that sounded pathetic. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go up to this little town and see what it is. I'll just keep the camera rolling. Enjoy the views till we get there. This western part of Washington is just gorgeous. I'd never been up here. Never ever should have been. Put this on your RV plan and list here for sure. Kind of lost our blue sky, but we're getting closer and closer to the ocean. We're quite a ways west now. All oh, this will drop right out. And we're heading to the islands, uh, Anacortes and all those, uh, Port Townsend, all kinds of cool places. All right, slowing us down 30 miles an hour. Should be the town of New Halem, Washington. There's campgrounds and stuff here. There goes a RV, another happy camper. Wow, look at the power grid. I bet that's from the dam, power generating maybe, huh? And looks like all their maintenance and everything's in here. And the park on the right. What an adventure, huh? Highway 20 through Washington State. Take it. You get a chance. Even take parts of it. Doesn't matter. Do the eastern side or out through the west side over here. Because it's a long ways. I mean, that's 400 miles we just did on this thing. But it dumps you right out, out here by the ocean. Thank you for coming along on this trip, the Once in a Lifetime series. This is one for the memory books for me, this Washington State trip, and it's not over. There's a part two to this video coming up probably in a month or so after this one is published. 
It'll take us all through the Anacortes Islands, down to Port Townsend, clear out through Olympic, and uh, out to Cisco Bay, and clear out to the Pacific Ocean. So once again, thank you for watching the Once in a Lifetime series. Journey continues. Talk soon. Thank you.